shorty make a boom party for my body <laughs> Anyway, let's see what we've come to do here. So, hello! What's up, everybody? This is Cindy Bieb. It's definitely the king herself. So, as you can tell, I'm in a really, really, really good mood today. And I'll not tell you why. <laughs> but it's a, it's been a really, a really good day for me today. So, thank you so much for the love that you showed me on my Facebook when I asked you guys to help me get a different word for the word pussy. You know, because... I didn't want to use the word, you know, but I wanted to talk about how to wash up as a woman. And, um, but then you know, but now I sound like a singer. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway <laughs> this is what I'm trying to say. Is I want to talk about how we shower as women. And I'm not saying you don't shower. I'm just saying we need to find a new way that we shower. Now, I've been showering the same way since I was a child. You know, when I grew up is when I found out that, eh. Well, and uh, you need to, you know, uh, to shower differently to get more benefits out of just a shower. So let's jump right into it. I have my notebook right here. So first thing I want to say that if when you're showering, you need, you don't just shower once because we are used to just get in the bathroom, pour some water on the body and then scrub, 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 and then let it go. So what I'm trying to say is that you need to shower at least twice. When you get to the bathroom let me explain the first time that you put soap all over your body you're cleaning off the dust uh the dust the dust you know whatever you're just cleaning off the the dirt from the skin that's the first time you wash up and scrub everywhere but after that that's when you can introduce a beauty soap you know that's when you can introduce a brightening soap or a bleaching soap for those of you who want to lighten your skin a nourishing soap some some soap which is going to do something for you a scrub soap that's when you introduce it so i'm saying shower twice the first soap must be an antiseptic soap so these videos are not sponsored i'm just telling you my favorite products that i use for example i really really like movit herbal because it it really cleans the body but also that you don't get that dry very dry feeling after but the other good antiseptic soaps are the usual that we're used to like protex you know uh, life boy those soaps that should be the first soap that you use and then you use the soap that is supposed to beautify your skin because the antiseptic soap just cleans and cleans and cleans. So that's the first thing. Shower at twice when you get in the shower. So give yourself time and love yourself in the shower. So the second thing is scrub your body. Scrub your body at least three times a week. On a bad week, okay, scrub your body twice. That's what I'm saying. When you get to the bathroom, your, your um, normal sponge that you use. And just before you even pour water on your body, just scrub like a dry skin and just... Just scrub it slowly from your legs all the way to to your chest and to your back with a dry sponge. What that does is it it helps the blood, it gets the blood flowing into your veins, and that way it can help minimize things like stretch marks, you know, stuff like that. And uh, so you first start with a dry sponge and just pass it all over your body. It's a bit rough, so be gentle to yourself. Your skin will start looking whitish, and that's when you know it it is working. So after doing that is when you you shower the normal that. I just talked about and then you do a scrub now i think next time i will let you guys know how i mix my scrubs i love 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 coffee coffee is amazing for body scrubs and the other thing which is amazing is bicarbonate of soda so you know let me know in the comment section if you want me to show you how to mix how i mix my body scrubs and then you know it gets your skin glowing really quick and it really helps with the stretch marks and uh so the, the easiest scrub i'll just tell you right now is is you get coffee sugar coconut oil or cooking oil if you can't afford the coconut oil and some lemon you know and put it all together and scrub your skin slowly and just love yourself take some time in the bathroom and just enjoy the shower and scrub your skin or you could also mix your normal shower gel with bicarbonate of soda and that will make an amazing amazing scrub immediately after the shower you will see that your skin is glowing already even the first time but if you keep it as a routine or jaku nyirira like you know every day every day <laughs> you look amazing the third thing is use a thick moisturizer our african skin really loves vaseline really loves a thick moisturizer you know we've been shown all these uh, lotions that white people show us but the best thing for an african skin is definitely a thick moisturizer like a normal i don't know um vaseline you know a normal tip top <laughs> 
you know stuff like that like a normal moisturizer which is thick enough for your skin so even when you're using these other things that you use for your skin or a lightening thing or anti-acne thing just add that on top of your of your body skin we're not talking about the face yet so a thick moisturizer is absolutely great if you have to use a lotion my favorite lotion is Jagen's. i really really like Jagen's because it keeps the skin hydrated and it's not so shiny all day uh and then the next thing is avo to avoid smelling bad as a woman now this is where the this is where your help comes in that's why i was asking for the name now as most women you know uh the the cookie is a wetland i must say so a wetland sometimes change it, it so that means it it's very prone to uh infection sometimes it changes smells doesn't necessarily mean you're sick but that's the way god created it it cleans out itself so don't whenever you feel something it's not abnormal it's not witchcraft it's just biology your body does it so let's talk about just how to clean the cookie now there's this thing that i learned that i learned how to use and it helped me a lot i used to get with these medicines and all these pessaries to use and and they would ne they, they you know they would do more harm than good i noticed after some time i became even more prone to infection because i was using the pessaries so i looked for a way on the internet and found something and i bought this thing called um apple cider vinegar you guys can see it right it's a huge one and i just got this so um i think i got this from senana but it's in a lot of supermarkets it's it's pricey yes but for a woman you know this is so important i can't explain to you how important this is so what i what you should do is get a basin like a quarter of a basin with water not cold water not hot water warm water that you can sit in so a quarter of a basin and then you get about four tablespoons of this one of the apple cider mix it in the water and sit in it for 30 minutes you know just sit there calm down get your phone or don't use your phone just sit down there and enjoy the moment you know of just cleaning yourself out <laughs> And in killing every infection and feeling amazing now this right here smells terrible and you might think that that smell will stay with you but that's not what happens so after you're done soaking yourself you just rinse with water the best way really to wash the cookie is water no matter what people tell you you know everything else that you try is going to ruin its its uh system system and now it works and you're going to ruin things so what you do is uh, is j just use plain water or soak yourself in that or if you cannot afford the apple cider vinegar uh, just take a lot of cranberry juice take orange juice okay now when you shave shave use a really good quality razor you know to shave use a razor that has at least three razors on it you know it helps to minimize those pimples that you get after and then uh, when you shave, be really, really gentle and take it really slow because we're dealing with the cookie, you know. So be really slow and, and be careful when you're doing it. And then after that, you can use tea tree oil. Tea tree oil helps to to dry out those uh, the, the pimples that come after that. And it has helped me really, really to dry out and, you know, make it look smooth and nice and fresh. And then, uh, yeah, use tea tree oil definitely for the razor bumps. And then uh, let's talk about teeth about our teeth <laughs> about our teeth now i get so many compliments about my teeth you know and people ask me how i keep my teeth white it's not it's not rocket science first of all teeth are very important teeth are, are delicate teeth are strong all at the same time so the thing that i do is that i use a, a normal toothpaste doesn't matter how expensive it is personally i really like daily dent and how it feels and abc and all those things and of course i would use the high-end one sometimes but i really don't mind a regular daily dent so i i get that and i mix with charcoal powder so you just mash powder, I mean mash the charcoal, get that powder, get your toothpaste and just uh, put it on a toothbrush and dip it in the, in the charcoal powder and brush your teeth. It will not damage the enamel and your teeth will be sparkling clean like me. <laughs> well, and then the last thing I'm going to say is steam. Whenever you can, just steam and steam and steam your skin. And when you go to steam, make sure you scrub. So I'll go through everything one more time. I'm glad this video hasn't been so long. First thing is shower twice. First with an antiseptic soap and then with a beauty soap. Second thing is scrub your body. 
you know get a scrub that you can use and i mentioned the coffee scrub the third thing is use a thick moisturizer for your body it's very good for the skin and then to avoid smelling bad or oh, the cookie smelling bad use soak yourself in apple cider vinegar with a quarter of a basin of water which is warm and sit inside there also i said you can take cranberry juice orange juice is amazing for the cookie and then I said uh, when you shave, shave very gently and very carefully, use a good quality razor and then after that you use tea tree oil to minimize the razor bumps and I talked about teeth, how to clean your teeth is you brush with your normal regular toothpaste and just mix it with charcoal powder and that will be amazing and if you have an infection you can mix some coconut oil and hydrogen peroxide and brush for like three days and you'll have no infection in your teeth anymore and the last thing was steam baby steam whenever you get a chance and steam your skin it helps the skin to absorb products more after okay so if you can do steam three times a month twice would be super amazing otherwise thank you all so much for supporting this channel all the new subscribers hello you're welcome i love you all <laughs> okay bye